glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? May the Almighty Father be a blessing to you wherever you are. And may you understand the word of God. Hallelujah. John chapter 3, verse 8. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You know, when you are born of the Spirit, your movements and your undertakings are a mystery to the world. They can't fathom and understand you, your makeup, and how things come to you and how you move. The life of the spirit is not based on calculation. The life of the spirit by the spirit and in the life of the spirit child of God is by the ability of God. And irrespective of time, space and location, you can still thrive and excel. We play by different set of rules. Take the life of Joseph, for instance. This was a man gifted in the area of dreams and visions. He was full of revelations. And so a time came that destiny, you know, destiny was revealed. He saw his destiny in the dream. And he shared this dream with the family and we all know what happened. At a point in time, if you study the life of Joseph very well, at a time his friends were getting married and giving birth to children. At a time his contemporaries, people will say, were excelling in life, raising families, having businesses here and there, what people think the good life. At the same time, this man of destiny, this man of the spirit, the man of integrity was wallowing in the jails of the heathen. He was in prison. He was being tossed to and fro. His character and strength were being tested. The man was enduring pain and afflictions. He was accused falsely by a last laden woman who was directed and misdirected by the spirit of Jezebel. This man called Joseph was full of the spirit of God and yet he was a slave. Later on, it's as if things moved from even bad to worse and he was put in prison. But my dear, just as the spirit is, you wouldn't know where it's coming from or the time is going to manifest. Let me take it again. It says, the wind blow it. The wind blow it. Listen carefully. The wind blow it where it listeth. And thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. You receive revelations. You receive prophetic utterances. People give you words and messages of God. And yet it seems the dream, the promise and the vision is far off. What you have to do is to be like Joseph. Maintain your integrity in the time of pain. Maintain your honor. Maintain that relationship, that precious relationship with your maker, the God Almighty. Be a different soul in the midst of the people. Whilst others are compromising, stand in prayer, stand in faith and be like Joseph. They will say that where is the promise 
of his coming. In fact, they will even think you are dead. They will think you are mad. But hold on. Do you know why? Because the spirit is in you and your destiny is different. It is because you have a great destiny and it takes time for a bigger and stronger and taller tree to grow. When the tree has a short life, when you know the ability to provide shade, when the tree is not that big and huge, you just put a seed and then within a twinkle of an eye, it grows and then it is harvested. But a big tree takes time to develop. What is happening is that in the realm of the spirit, there's what they call the formative processes of character. You know, in the realm of the spirit, there is a formative process of endurance, determination, the ability to keep that harvest. And when the time comes and the blessings of the Lord comes, you have the integrity, the godliness to possess the blessings and deliver others, to teach others and to help them. Your burden is quite a lot. There are many destinies counting and relying on you. Where is Joseph? He is in prison. Where is Joseph? He is gone. Where is the dreamer? We thought he said God spoke to him. But in the midst of the pain, in the midst of what seems like misdirection, the spirit was working through the, the wisdom of the Almighty, leading him right to his destiny. And the time came, it was like a dream. Probably, he never saw it coming. They came for him. He went, interpreted the dream. The, the, all the magicians, the sorcerers, and all these guys, they could not demonstrate the wisdom of Joseph. But it didn't come one day because his destiny was big and huge. He was a big tree in a forest. He became the prime minister of the second most powerful nation of the world. His name was Joseph. That slave, that Hebrew child in Egypt, amazing. But the instrumentality, the ability and the power of the Almighty and the spirit of Christ that was in him led him to the promised land and he became the second most powerful man of the world. It was not a joke. It wasn't a fluke. He paid great price. He waited for the time. I speak to you, my friend, irrespective of what you are seeing, feeling, hearing, the pain, the anguish. Hold on. Where is Joseph? They will question your ability to hear God. They will question your dedication and commitment. They will say that it is over. But I tell you, if you wait on the Lord, age will be immaterial. If you wait on the Lord, location will be immaterial. If you wait on the Lord, 10 years of wages can be given to you in a day. He is the almighty God. You are of the order of Joseph, the spirit-filled child of God. You are unique. Your destiny is different. Hold on. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Share this message, like the message, and let others hear. May God bless you and give your comments. Feel free to ask any question. Your brother Collins. Thank you.